goal for us. We have heard so many good things about Maine. So we started from Newport uh, in Rhode Island and went up to Cape Cod Canal. We decided not to stay at Martha's Vineyard and uh, uh, Nantucket because it, they say it's quite similar to Block Island except for it's more people. Uh, so through the Cape Cod Canal we headed northeast up to uh, close to Portland. We found a super nice uh, small island with uh, called Jewel Island which had a few nice trails and uh, the nature is very good. On the way in we had our first proper squall, with strong winds, heavy rain and lightning. When we woke up the next morning it was calm and the sun was burning off the fog. We took the opportunity to take down the mainsail to make some repairs when there was no wind. From Jewel Island, uh, there are a lot of small islands. Unfortunately, we didn't see many because there's, there's a thick fog. So we uh, learned how to use the radar. The, tri the challenge is that all the fishing boats, they are so low, so they are quite hard to spot on the radar. And both we and the fisher, fisher boats were really surprised when we met. Uh, the visibility was probably just around 50 meters sometimes. Uh, when we sail we're not afraid of the lobster pots because then we can go over them. But if we go by motor uh, we can get caught in the lines. Anyhow we went from Jewel Island up in here to uh, Round Pound Bay, where we bought our first lobsters, uh, very nice. And then we continue north up to Vinyl Haven, uh, where we met up with uh, our friends on Hilma. And here we got sunshine again. So uh, and we saw the true main uh, archipelago. Very, very nice. And from uh, Vinyl Haven, we went to Deer Island and uh, Stonnington. The reason why we went to Stonnington was that there was a Volvo Penta specialist there. We have had problem with overheating and after days of troubleshooting we decided to get help. More on that in next episode. We ended up at the boatyard for a week and this was a good place to get stuck. A nice little village, lots of forest with chanterelles, beach within walking distance and a huge lobster industry. We like the mix between tourism and industry. You get close to everyday life and there are things to do and see.
we got to borrow a car for a few days from Phil and Linda. They are OCC members and live on Deer Island. On Deer Island, uh, this is known for its quality of the granite, 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 <laughs> granite. Uh, this rock. Uh, we met someone that told told us that this was shipped. Uh, to New York, New York City, so a lot of buildings in the uh, 1800s is made uh, with rocks or granite from uh, this area. And you can see a lot of these quarries, I think it's called. Uh, so lobster and granite, that's the export from Maine. When the engine experts worked on the engine, we prepared the boat for the journey back home, checking the rig and getting supplies for six weeks. The challenge to sail here is to uh, go through the minefield of uh, lobster pots. They are everywhere. I can't imagine how many lobsters there must be, but this is like lobster country. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Now we are on our way to Canada, so next episode will be about our engine. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and please write a comment. See you next week.